Tom. No! Why are you leaving me? If I didn't do anything wrong, I don't understand. I thought you liked me! Damn, my a-ho is tighter than Ava Adams in a blacked video. So according to Warner Brothers Discovery is expected to tease its upcoming film slate at CinemaCon, the studio will present the full film of The Flash as well. And CinemaCon is basically the movie version of Comic-Con where, where they present all the feature films. And the fact that they are going to show the full film of The Flash six weeks out before the film is even officially released just shows how confident Warner Brothers is in the Flash movie. And again, it raises more questions on whether or not if this film is a massive hit, will it change things for the future? I don't know, but I'm excited. Speaking of being rock hard right now, indeed, Warner Brothers is hosting a panel at CinemaCon in April where they will show the calendar with their next films. That uh, That is, we should have news from the dcu maybe release dates we will see so the fact that we're going to get more news of the dcu release dates maybe an extension or sneak peek of the second half of the chapter one of gods and monsters maybe they'll tease some more dc films for the future i don't know but i'm very excited about that prospect as well again the flash film it's just making me more and more excited because of the possibilities surrounding it. Like, what if, what if Ben Affleck really actually fucking stays? Woo! <laughs> and again, if the Flash film is a major hit, if it get if it gets close to a billion or actually makes a billion dollars, that's gonna conversations are gonna have to be made. Like, like conversations with David Zaslav and James Gunn are gonna be like, listen, I know. Ezra Miller's lying low right now. I know the, the bad press if we keep him, but the film made a billion dollars. And let's be honest, outside of the film circle, the general audience, they have no idea who Ezra Miller is. They have no idea what Ezra Miller has been going through or, or all the stupid shit that he's been doing. So if this movie is a big hit and critics love it and audiences really take to Ezra Miller's performance as The Flash, they're going to keep him. Like, make no mistake about it. They are going to keep him. If this movie is a big hit, which I think it will be, like, he's not going anywhere, bro. I would be really shocked and surprised if they, if this movie makes a billion dollars, it's a big hit, a critical success, and they let Ezra go, and they really start the whole new refresh of the DCU. I mean, personally, I've always said this personally, I think they should recast. I think they should reboot. But when money talks, man, Plans change, and the final decision comes not from James Gunn, but the final decision comes from David Zaslav. If David Zaslav tells James Gunn, hey, Ezra Miller is your Flash going forward, guess what James Gunn is going to say? Yes, sir. <laughs> like, he's not going to say, nah, I don't feel comfortable about that. He's like, like, no, Ezra Miller is my Flash. And if people like Ben Affleck's performance, and, and, ben, and people love him uh, to continue as Batman, I, I don't know, man. Again, James Gunn says they're getting a new Superman, new Batman. It's a fresh, clean slate, which is kind of bullshit because Viola Davis is still Amanda Waller and you're still going to do Peacemaker Season 2 with John Cena. So it's not exactly a, a clean slate, unless he means a clean, slate, a, a clean slate for the core league members of Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Superman. Okay, sure, fine. But it's not exactly a fresh, total reboot. And since it's not a fresh, total reboot... You're still allowed some some wiggle room to keep the remaining cast. I mean, if Henry Cavill if Henry Cavill is gone, okay, fine, recast your new Superman, but keep Ben Affleck, keep Jason Moore as Aquaman. If you if you want to keep Zachary Levi Shazam, fine, go ahead. Keep Gal Gadot, like keep what works, which is what I said before. Like uh, I forgot what I, oh shit, I forgot what I said before <laughs> about the whole Snyder's cast. Like like keep the Snyder's cast, but tell new stories is exactly what I said. And again, I don't know if James Gunn is going to do that. I think James Gunn is going to stick to the full reboot, which I hope he does. But again, if The Flash is a big hit, man, like like think like conversations are going to have to be made. But the fact that, you know, they're showing the, the Flash so early is very, very promising. Like I said, man, like DCU changes are going to be made. 
we, we just have to see what kind of changes are going to are going to be uh intact but uh it's very exciting man very very exciting the flash boy whoo ezra really just causing trouble all around but as always hit like subscribe follow me to a discord instagram all that bullshit and as always mwah, truth out if you don't let me suck your dick